welcome back to our last episode of Sing. Before I jump into today's lesson, I wanted to bring your attention to our Advent in a Box. We gave these out to many of our Fellowship Pickering families over the last week. And today, unless you're watching this on Saturday, it starts on Sunday, marks the start of our Advent adventures. So if you haven't already, you can open up your box and check out the Advent guide that's inside. And this Advent guide is filled with activities to take you through the week and the coming days of our Advent adventures. So take a look at your Advent guide for today's activities. And this week in our Advent adventures, we are focusing on hope as we begin to anticipate the coming Savior. All right, let's dive into today's lesson, shall we? We've been learning from the book of Psalms this month. And to start, can you think of a time when you've been scared? There are a lot of things you may be afraid of. The truth is, everyone gets scared. But the Bible tells us that God is here to help us when we get scared. What do you normally do when you're scared? Why don't you take a minute to pause and share with the people around you some of the things you've been scared of and how you normally handle those fears. Pause and discuss. Well, from now on, remember this big idea and trust God instead. This week's big idea is, I am not afraid because God can be trusted. Let's check in with Carl and see what he has to share about today's big idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything's okay. It's okay. We're all gonna sing together to make stuff happy. <laughs> Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. You can do this. You are Carl! You are not afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Whew. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hey! What is that? Who's there? Oh, <laughs> that's just the cut out of myself. So since last time I saw you, I've been doing some reading in the old Bible. For the most part, so much of it is super encouraging and exciting. But there's some parts, if I'm being honest, are a little scary. I mean, look here! We have a flood that covered the whole earth! Wait, we fish out eats a guy? I mean, he spits him back out alive, but still. There's this one guy that beats up a bunch of other guys with a jawbone of a donkey? Okay, that one's kinda cool. But still, lots of scary stuff, and it gets me worried. I mean, these people who went through scary stuff, they believed in God, and I believe in God. And that means I'm bound to have some scary stuff happen to me. And I ain't ready for that. Look at me. Do I look like some fearless warrior like Samson? If David was a shepherd, I'm more like one of those helpless lost sheep that he watched over. I'm just scared, guys. Ah! Oh. It's my computer. <laughs> hey there, Sonia. Carl, how's it going? Pretty good, Sonia. I was just talking about how scared I am. Oh no, what are you scared for? Well, I just read all about the terrifying things that happen to people who follow God in the Bible. It just scares me that something like that could happen in my life. Oh, I see. So what do you think you should do? I'm not sure, Sonia. I figured you might have some ideas. Well, do you remember the story of David and Gath? I don't think so. Is Gath the nickname for Goliath? No, it's actually a place. A long time ago, David was being threatened a lot, and one day he was taken to a place called Gath. Against his will? Yep. Even though he didn't want to go, he was brought there, and they were planning on hurting David. That's awful! It sure was. And David was afraid. What? David? Afraid? That dude defeated Goliath! I know it's crazy, but it's true. So David came up with a plan, and his plan was, well, different. What happened? Well. David acted like he was going crazy, started making marks on all the doors and gates, crawling on the ground and slobbering all over his face. Wow, that's really weird. Did it work? Believe it or not, it did. His enemies left him alone. But the thing is, David was afraid, and so he did what he thought he should do to stay safe. I guess so. It makes me feel somewhat good knowing that David got scared sometimes. Yeah. But we should know that God is very powerful, and God can remove fear from every one of us. Is that really true? Of course. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, it tells us not to fear because God is with us. 
In Psalm 56, it says, In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. Did you know that David actually wrote Psalm 56 while in Gath? Wow, I never knew that. He was praising God even when his life was in danger. <laughs> That's awesome. You see, Carl, sure, the Bible is full of scary things that happen to followers of God, but that's kind of the point. Anyone can be put into a scary situation, but for people who know and love God, that situation is a chance for us to put our faith in God. And when we do that, it not only deepens our faith, but maybe others who don't follow God just yet. Wow, I never thought about it like that. I guess it helps knowing that we can trust God and God takes away our fear. Absolutely. I know we all want to be able to wake up every day and say, I am not afraid because God can be trusted. Sonia? <laughs> That's our big idea! Today's big idea is, I'm not afraid because God can be trusted. That's right. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One. Two. Three. three. I am not, not afraid, afraid because God, God can be trusted. Yes, God can be trusted. Yeah. Now, are you afraid anymore, Carl? I'm not. Isn't that wonderful? That's great. So you don't care about that scorpion on your shoulder? Nope. Good. <laughs> Just kidding. See you next week, kids. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Today we're going to read Psalm 56, so pause and read it together with your family. David wrote Psalm 56 when he had been captured by the Philistines and was taken to Gath. He was so afraid of the king that he pretended to be mentally ill so his captors wouldn't think he was a threat, and then he would be able to escape. Throughout this time, David remembered God, who is more powerful than any king, and wrote that he will trust God when he is afraid. When we're afraid, we can put our trust in God too. God will always take care of us. God can always be trusted. All right, let's jump into the last time we're going to do our memory verse this month. So our series has been called Sing. And so we have been trying different ways to sing our memory verse each week. So let's read it together once and then we can sing it. Our memory verse for the month comes from Psalms 95.1. If you know it by heart already, don't read it. But it says, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 95, 1. Okay, let's sing it this week to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb again. But this time, I want you to grab an instrument and play along with me. I'll give you 10 seconds to grab one. It could be pencils, markers, little sticks, or an actual instrument, something to bang on. Whatever works, you have 10 seconds to grab one. Here you go. Are you ready? I got my instrument. It's my ukulele, but what do you have? Let's play it together. It's Mary Had a Little Lamb. So, are you ready? I'll get it eventually. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 95, 1. Good job. Shall we do it one more time together? Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 95, 1. Awesome job. I think my kindergarten educator was coming out there, wasn't it? All right, guys. Thanks again for joining us this month for our Kids Church Online as we sang our way through the Psalms. And as always, please remember to check out our link in the description below for some extra activities that go along with today's lesson. And tune in next week for a brand new series called The Main Event. I can't wait for you to see it. See you then. Bye.